Waggy two on defeat tonight. What's your thoughts on the performance? Uh, obviously, we're disappointed um, with the with the loss today. Uh, we was we wasn't great first half, and um, we sort of rectified that second half. And we probably should have should have at least got a point out of the game. Um, we we had a lot of chances second half, and maybe could have even won it, but. We can't lose our concentration like we have been doing uh, recently. There's, there's, there's nothing more that obviously the management team can do. It's, it's down to us on the pitch. We, yeah, we've just lost a, a bit of concentration, um, and, and we've been punished with it. Every time we do it, we've been punished. So we've got to eradicate that out of our game, and, and, and then we can start to look forward. But until we do that, we're not going to win any games. That's the most frustrating thing, I think, isn't it? You look at their two goals tonight. You know, it's come from Jimmy Torre getting injured down the right hand side, and their goals come the 86th minute from a corner that arguably shouldn't be a corner. So it's dealing, like you say, with the situations better and dealing with it. And pushing forward and moving on. Yeah, it's obviously frustrating. I was obviously the first one to answer the ref like, but we've still got to, we've still got to organise ourselves and make sure that we, we deal with the, the set plays, which, which we haven't been doing. And it, I, I can understand the frustration from the fans and, and everything else because we, we do play some good stuff at times and, and we probably deserve to win the game. Um, I think a lot of people saw that tonight, um, but we didn't. So we can't keep saying we should have done this, should have done that. We've got to start doing it on the pitch. Uh, and we've got to start eradicating them uh, mistakes out of our game and, and until we do that we won't win a game. If you personally want the young, uh, older, more experienced players and squad it's important you get those younger players behind you and really push them forward in this, these sort of games. Yeah, I know I know how difficult it is in this, these sort of situations. I've been there before, it's tough, Like you just think when's the next win going to come but I, I know it's going to come soon. Um, these, these lads are a good group of lads, we just probably need to be a little bit tougher on each other um, in certain situations, a little bit more communication um, and, and then it's going to help everyone. Um, that's what I said to the lads. It's, it's always going to help if lads start talking to each other. It helps everyone. That's but even me, like from coming from behind. So uh, yeah, we just need to, to sort of grow up a little bit, um, and hopefully then once we do that, we can start to get the results which, which we start to deserve. One of the positives from tonight, obviously, Mo Salah, new signing, comes in, plays midfield next to you. How was it with you and him there? Yeah, Mo's been brilliant. Um, Mo's been brilliant with me. I played a, a Kyle well, a Resi game with him a few weeks ago, which was which was he was he was different class, similar to what he did today. Breaks up the play really well um, and scored a brilliant brilliant goal. And, and hopefully now we can sort of get him fit and we've got some good options in, in that midfield area now. So hopefully we can keep him in there and, and we can push on. And for you personally, how are you feeling fitness-wise? Another you know, 90 minutes for you? Yeah, it's been it's been obviously. Uh, Tough to get to get myself uh, up to up to uh, match fitness, but I, I feel I feel good now. So hopefully the the fans will start to see the best of me, and, and hopefully I can help the the team get the results that they deserve. They're not on the fans tonight as well. A lot of them came down today to watch the televised game, and you know even came support to the team at the stadium today. Yeah, no, the fans have been different class since I've come in. They've been brilliant with me. Um, I've really really enjoyed it, and and I just I'm just obviously sorry that we couldn't couldn't get them uh, the three points tonight or even a point, um, which they deserve because the, the numbers they turned out in was was brilliant, and I've seen it seen it so many times. Other, other teams where we've been losing we haven't got the fans there but the, the older shot fans have been different class and I'll just say to them just stick with us stick with us because we're going to need you um, and um, I'll do everything I can and, and obviously the boys will as well to, to get the results Bit of a break now to our next league game but an important time for us to hopefully amend those mistakes and put the right head of our next league game in two weeks time-ish Yeah we have to I don't want to be coming in next week and saying exactly the same thing so we need to make sure that we do it on the training pitch and, and, and we will do that I know the gaffer's been working extremely hard with that and Tom as well well um, and all the staff and, and we need to make sure that it, it comes down to us because it's, it's nothing to do with the gaffer it's just down to us losing concentration and, and we need to eradicate that and we will do. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.